Hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I don't know which day it is now, I'm losing count of which ones are which. But today I'm going to talk about something that's quite an emotive subject and I expect I'll get some thumbs down for this one because this is one of those topics in photography that really divide people a lot. Um, I'll explain all about it, but in principle I'm going to talk to you about drones or in this case, my little DJI Mavic Mini, which is 249 grams. I do have an operator's license and it is registered with the CAA, even though it doesn't have to be. I've passed all the tests, um, so I'm good to go. I know the rules and I apply them. Um, a lot of people don't like drones. They find them intrusive. I think drones have got their place. I think they allow you to get to places that you can't get with a camera easily. And OK, this one only has a 12 megapixel um, sensor on the camera, but it's still as good as most iPhones and it's, uh, it's capable of producing some fairly good images, actually. I've had other drones. I've had the uh, Mavic Pro, Mavic Pro 2, um, Phantoms, various Phantoms over the years, and I found them all very, very good, competent uh, drones. The only problem with the larger ones are is the hassle of taking them with you because they don't fold up. I know the Mavic Pro does, but it's, it's nowhere near as small as this little beastie. And this literally can fit in your pocket and you don't even know you're carrying it. Um, anyway, back to the subject. I don't use the drone very often. I'm very wary about using it near other people. And if I am doing it anywhere near people, I ask them to make sure they're comfortable that I'm using it. Um, so I don't want to be seen infringing people's sort of liberties or just generally being annoying. Um, I have been on location to various places around the world and found people just launching drones without any consideration for anyone else. And I just find that attitude incredibly irresponsible and selfish. Um, you might argue that it's selfish of me to use one, but um, I do try to consider other people before I deploy this beast. And this one in particular, because it's so small, is really quite quiet. So that's it, ready to fly. Uh, it's not powered up at the moment. It's got its little gimbal on the front and it has done some good work for me. I've had some good pictures. I've crashed it a couple of times, but because it's so light, if it lands on something soft like grass or in a hedge or something, it doesn't come to any harm. Um, luckily, I haven't lost it by getting it stuck up a tree and having to climb up a tree. I did with one of the other drones uh, a couple of years back. I had to get a friend who runs a tree felling business to actually climb up the tree and go and get it back for me. But uh, that was a one-off. Anyway, this little beastie is my Mavic Mini. I've had it since well, November time last year and I've taken it to Lofoten when I went there in January. Um, I didn't take it with me into the Alps. Um, oh yeah, Well, I did actually, but I didn't fly it very much there, uh, partly because of restrictions. Um, this is the controller for it. Uh, tiny little thing, folds up to next to nothing. Um, antenna fold up, the phone support folds up. So you put your mobile phone, in this case my iPhone X, comes out of its normal carrying case because that won't fit in the little arms that the, uh, the holder has. You plug in the connection cable here. You can see that tiny little uh, Thunderbolt connection cable goes in the right end of the phone, not the wrong end. Oh, fumble, fumble. Right, that clips in there. And then the phone sits inside these two arms, like so. It's got little rubber pieces to grip it so that it's uh, quite stable. And powering it up is simple. Switch the phone into the right application, the DJI Fly application. And lo and behold, the DJI Fly application comes along and the drone isn't on, so it's not going to connect to it. What I'm going to do is take this all outside and set up and show you how it works. I know a lot of you have seen drones working, but uh, for completeness I'll show you some of the things it's capable of doing. So I'll see you outside. Okay, oh, on second thoughts I decided I'm not going to fly the drone, and the reason for that is partly what I mentioned earlier, consideration for other people. 
As everyone's stuck at their homes at the moment, and it's a nice day outside, so most people have their doors and windows open, um, I think it's a little bit uh, inappropriate to put this drone up, um, even only a few feet above the ground, because people will be looking around to wonder where the drone noise is coming from, even if it's not spying on them or able to see into their gardens. They're going to probably be a bit annoyed, so I'm not going to put it up. But what I will do, um, and if you're interested in seeing how these things fly, there's plenty of stuff online. Loads of people have reviewed all the drones that are actually made, so I don't need to go over that ground. Um, Suffice to say, what I'll do is I'll put some a montage of bits of drone footage together that I've taken with different drones over the years in different locations to give you a clue why I find them so valuable. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy watching them. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and please also subscribe so that you get notified when I upload new videos.